In this uh, example problem, we're going to investigate gravitation, Newton's law of universal gravitation, and we're going to investigate the situation of having two spherical objects. The type of material is unknown. We'll see if we can identify it or not. Um, these two spherical objects are touching each other. They uh, each have a mass of 1.8 times 10 to the fifth kilograms. That's fairly significant. And uh, then they, the gravitational force is one newton. One newton is how strongly one object attracts the other and vice versa, of course. Um, when you calculate the distance between the centers of these objects, that's what is involved in uh, the uh, law of gravitation. So let's uh, get started here. So I'll make a little sketch and showing the, uh, the two objects touching. The law of gravitation is our universal constant, capital G, times mass 1, times mass 2, and then divide by the distance squared between the centers of these two spherical objects. So we can put numbers in that we've been given. We've been given the force number is 1 Newton. Our capital G constant is here. Then 1.8 times 10 to the fifth kilograms, that gets squared. M1 is that value, M2 is also that value, so I just square it. And then divide by R squared. So we're going to uh, solve for R squared here. I came up with 2.161. You should uh, pause the video and check this in your own calculator. And taking a square root, I find that R is 1.47 meters. Uh, if we want to determine what material is there, density would be a useful piece of information. So if I know the mass and if I know the um, separation of the two centers of the objects, uh, how can I go about calculating the volume of one of these spheres? So let's pull down just a little bit. Well, for the volume of one of the spheres, I need the radius of one of the spheres. Now, these two spheres are 1.47 meters from center to center. That's the meaning of the R symbol in Newton's Law of Gravitation. I'm going to call capital R the radius of one of the spheres, and they'll be the same dealing with identical uh, spheres here. But capital R would be the radius of one sphere. And finding the volume of that sphere, we use 4 thirds pi r cubed. That's our formula for volume of a sphere. 4 thirds pi and the radius cubed. So we have that radius, 0.735 meters is half of the separation from center to center. Um, so we have that r that will cube. And we get, and again, you should check with your calculator, 1.663 times oh, 10 to the 0 power, 1.663 meters cubed. That's also a fairly large number, um, cubic meters. but. So let's keep on going here. The density would be the mass divided by the volume. The mass, 1.8 times 10 to the fifth kilograms. Our volume, we've uh, determined 1.663 meter cubed. Divide those two numbers, and we're still carrying a 10 to the fifth power here. At, uh, kind of comparable. 1.08 is 1.8 divided by 1.663. 10 to the fifth uh, kilograms per meter cubed. Well, if you look up... Uh, density and find a table, more commonly you're going to have 10 to the third kilograms per meter cubed as a uh, heading on the column. So if I want to switch this to 10 to the thirds uh, kilograms per cubic meter, then I have to shift the decimal place two places to the right. So it's 108 times 10 to the third kilograms per cubic meter. And you could look down that density table quite a while and not find an element that would match this because if I just choose lead, lead is 11.3 times 10 to the third kilograms per cubic meter. Water is 1 times 10 to the third kilograms per cubic meter. Mercury, I think, is 13.6. We have 108 here. This problem is not reasonable. It's not reasonable. It's not... Uh, I, you know, gold might be 19 times 10 to the third kilograms per cubic meter. So we have a problem that where the one newton force is really causing the difficulty. Uh, the one newton force, that's too strong. That's a very large force for 
objects you might find in a physics classroom between the two objects. Um, so it's not set up reasonably. You were given data that did not make sense. It led to a uh, uh, unreasonable value for the density of the material in these two spheres. So uh, keep uh, working practice problems. There, I've got another video I'm about to record that uh, calculates a better number for the force. So if you want to look at my uh, list of videos that I've got on YouTube, uh, physics.gpclements.com would be that uh, location. Um, you can see the title of the video, how many minutes it takes up, and uh, uh, get a little description of what the content of that video is. Um, but keep practicing uh, your physics examples. If you like these YouTube videos, please subscribe to my channel.